I guess to really cap off this summer of really underappreciated Japanese games, we have to cover Binary Domain. Now, Binary Domain is set about is a story about a Rust crew who are set to take out a group of robots and the head of a group of uh, the builder of robots who is said to have, have broken the rule violation 21 of the New Geneva Convention, which is based on having robotic humans, what they call hollow children, uh, and they found these hollow children. And they, can't, they, they just freak out, so they send this group of people into Japan to take out the head of the robot corporation. Very simple premise. However, the story itself twists and turns in sometimes unexpected ways, but never really, I guess, stagnant or too cliche ways. That said, the game itself is very much a, a very simple, action-y sort of game. It's still one of the best games that have come out at the start of this year. My robot brethren will supplant humankind someday. Progress is inevitable. Perhaps, but you won't be there to see it. Take him out, Sergeant! The presentation itself, the, the robots come apart spectacularly. The, the way that the, the bullets rip them to shreds, slowly pull the metal apart on them, the way explosions just tear off all these ceramic armor that they have, the way that... I, Words can't express how good sometimes it just looks. There are some parts where it's a little bit blurry, some textures are really ugly, things like that, but the present, like the actual visual presentation of this is fantastic. And the sound does a really good job of that as well. Like it, there's a sense of urgency when you hear alarms, you know to expect a big boss when they're coming. The guns sound fine. The voice acting, while campy and a little bit cliche at times, does the job effectively and really, I guess, makes you feel like you're, you're, you're hearing this story for the first time. So, I guess the presentation for this one, I'm going to give a 9 out of 10. Proceed with caution. Dan, you okay? Should I come help? If you can handle yourself, then fine. But don't get careless. Wait, it's acting weird now. Gameplay is your very simple shooter mechanics mixed in with a little bit, you know, car chases here, this here, that there, and some of those don't work very well, but the actual shooter mechanics itself work fantastically. The upgrade system works fantastic as well, the way you, uh, you designate certain blocks of uh, nanomachines into this, I guess, this grid, and that decides how you power up your, your allies and yourself. As a, as a whole, it really works. It's a very simple mechanic, but it works to serve the game very, very well. So I guess I have to give it a 7 out of 10. All up, the game is an 8. It's, it's amazing. The story is so well told. The, the universe itself is so believable uh, that you really feel like you, you can understand where that, how that world could happen. And I guess it's a little bit of a kind of the Frankenstein's uh, complex, but it's, it really serves to enhance the story. Definitely, definitely check it out. Binary Domain, fantastic.